After McCain spotted passing Comey fake doc on Trump, they get nasty surprise from feds. Senator John McCain and former FBI Director James Comey are in hot water after McCain was spotted delivering what turned out to be a dossier of fake news on Donald Trump. This bombshell information is just the tip of the iceberg, and the mainstream media is refusing to report this huge development. You'll be shocked at the nasty surprise McCain and Comey just got from the feds as their secret plan to oust Trump is revealed. By now, many of you have heard of the Russian dossier which was published by BuzzFeed shortly after Donald Trump won the election. This was a pile of fake news stories put together by a man named Christopher Steele, a retired MI6 agent who was paid to make the report look legit. One outlandish story from the dossier claimed Trump flew to Russia to have prostitutes urinate on him while he was in the same room the Obamas had stayed. What's important to note here is that it was Hillary Clinton and the DNC who asked Steele to make the fake dossier although they still deny it, and it's where we first heard about allegations that Trump was involved with the Russians. Up until October 10, 2017, everyone believed the go-between was a company called Fusion GPS. Steele handed off the dossier to Fusion GPS, who handed it off to BuzzFeed. Now, we know that the snake John McCain was involved in passing it off to James Comey, who is FBI director at the time. The Daily Caller reports. He, Steele, claims that he has only provided the complete dossier to Fusion, British Intelligence Services and to David Kramer, an associate of Arizona Senator John McCain. The report goes on, during a meeting in London on November 28, Steele gave the dossier to Kramer. McCain then gave the dossier to then-FBI Director James Comey during a December 9 meeting. Fusion later instructed Steele to provide the final December 13 memo to McCain and Kramer through an encrypted email channel. Wow! McCain was passing off what is a bunch of made-up crazy lies about Trump to Comey. Comey couldn't believe any of what is in that fake dossier is reputable, but he received it and had the FBI take it as fact. He got fired, but made sure that the fake dossier was at the heart of the Robert Mueller investigation. How do we know? There is no other evidence in play that links Trump to Russia. It's just this super bogus dossier that reads like the National Enquirer. The mainstream media is avoiding this bombshell information like the plague. In a surprise twist, opposition research firm Fusion GPS says that it did not give its dossier of infamous anti-Trump research to BuzzFeed News prior to the outlet's January 10 publication of the salacious document, reports The Daily Caller. Now. We know who was behind spreading the lies about Trump and Russia, it had to be all John McCain and James Comey. The federal court hearing the case gave McCain and Comey a nasty surprise by allowing their names to be outed and not protected. The judge was not too impressed with this bullcrap case, and he clearly sees how McCain and Comey colluded to frame Trump in this bogus Russia collusion case. It's all smoke and mirrors, there is just nothing to it at all. So. Why is Mueller still going around acting like he has some sort of case against Trump? Well, his best buddy Comey wants him to, and it was Comey who admitted that he manipulated the system to get an investigation going and got Mueller appointed, just to screw with Trump. Mueller's got nothing. That's why he focused on Paul Manafort, Trump's second campaign manager. To save face, Mueller will try to get some charges unrelated to Trump to stick with Manafort. Sadly, Manafort will be the Democrats' fall guy since they cannot come away empty-handed from the Trump investigation. MSNBC will likely go 